Everyone still remember us? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Albert and she's Lisa and we are LAN Consulting. We are devoted to solve all kinds of your problems. You may wonder that why we stand here again. Before I start our topic, I want to have a little research. How many of you skip your breakfast today? Please raise your hand. Okay, and they do always have nice snack and junk food all the time. Raise your hand. Okay, most of them are not healthy. <laughs> and today our topic is you are what you eat. And what you eat decides your health. We are very lucky because we were born in this age. Thanks to the development of the food processing industry, we are able to eat lots of fresh food like meat and seafood and vegetables and fruits. Moreover, we can enjoy lots of food products, for example, cans, cookies and chocolate, and bottles of drinks. Recently, the news really scares us a lot, and it breaks our heart too. Why? Because there are so many chemical and toxic additives in our food. They will, they will worsen our body currently and uh, cause many diseases. The food we think we are eating are delicious and uh, beneficial. But actually, when it gets inside our body, it becomes the burden of our health because there are many toxic additives in it. So, I'm here to tell all, all the college students do not have the bad eating habit. According to our research, most of the college students have bad eat, eating habit. What will they take into consideration when they decide what to eat? As you can see, convenience and flavor are two main factors. And surprisingly, surprisingly, we can find out that most of them didn't care about whether the food is healthy or not. Next. What's the college student's favorite food? What's your favorite food? Bibi? Coffee? Uh, Wendy? Coffee. Coffee. Juris? Coffee. Japanese food. <laughs> <laughs> okay. According to our research, <laughs> fried chicken, roasting food, instant noodle, desserts are in top four. And most surprisingly, most of the students will eat junk food for their meal. About 83% of the students will eat junk food for their meal. No, may, oh, no wonder the young people in this age get cancer so easily. And uh, they, most of them have bad physical condition. And now, I will talk about three real kids and one is 
for boys and the other two are for girls. Let's go through their daily life and check out what they eat during their daily life. This is Johnny. Johnny. <laughs> and he is a college student and he don't like vegetables. Johnny always stay up late and he always wake up at 11 a.m. and he think he should skip his breakfast in order to save some money. But when it is in lunch time, he will feel so hungry and he will decide to have a big meal. How will he choose? How will he choose? He choose his favorite food, barbecue. There are so much, love so much meat, and it is not good. We all know that. And where is dinner? Because he is so full. And but he think skipping the meal is not healthy. So he decided to, he decided to eat a little bit, a little bit. So what is choice? Fried chicken and pure milk. This is really bad because he take junk food for his meal. And when he stay up, he feels hungry again. And he, his mom told him that I should eat more so that I can do well. So he decided to have some nice snake. But I don't know if his favorite. The nice snake is not healthy. Through his daily life, we can figure out what's the problem. The first problem is he skipped the breakfast. And we all know that the breakfast is the most important meal in our daily life. And second, too much meat and barbecue is not good. He also eat less vegetables and fruits. It's not good for our body. And he eat junk food for his meal and night snacks too often. This is Johnny's life. And next, we will talk another two cases. Let's welcome Lisa. Oh, sorry, the color is um, different from the <coughs> computer, so it's not very obvious. Um, here is Scarlett. Um, she said, Hi, I'm Scarlett. I care my body shape. Um, but um, I always want to look thinner. Um, let's look about her day, uh, her day diet. Well, the, her, uh, at, in the morning she choose milk tea for her breakfast. You know she think that uh, uh, milk tea is healthier than other choices such as bread and sandwich because she think that milk tea is milk. And in the other, uh, and she skip the lunch because she she want to go to uh, go to have afternoon tea with her friends, and he she have a pancake. And in dinner, she because she didn't want to gain weight, so she just eat a piece of cookie and banana. Okay, so <coughs> I think that she didn't eat so much. But do you like her diet? Well, I didn't. I don't like it because. Uh, her breakfast is a really bad choice because actually milk tea isn't milk. It just uh, it just contains a lot of sugar and fat, but it doesn't have any milk. And it's not good to to skip the lunch just like Albert just told uh, told us. And she chose another high high calories afternoon tea pancake. And dinner, well, banana is a good choice, it's fruit, but if you just eat a piece of cookie, it's 
not healthy. Although it because it's sweet and but it and it's not nutrient. Okay, next um another girl. <laughs> okay, it's Elizabeth and she said that hi, I'm Elizabeth. I live in dormitory and my wife is really busy. That's why I love the convenience store so much. Okay, now let's look about her diet. Well, in the morning, she chews bread and juice for her breakfast. And at lunch, she chews the uh, one hand food and the chocolate for the snack. And the dinner, she chews salad and hot dog. Well, it looks like uh, it looks like okay. It looks okay, but however, however, she said that she bought all this food in the convenience store. We must know that food in convenience store are uh, are full of many addictive. Like her breakfast, uh, the bread is full of artificial activity because the bread must be soft, like just just like the meat. And the juice actually is not pure juice. It just contains ten percent juice. And her lunch for uh, is still for for all addictive. And dinner, well, we must know that the hot dog, uh, that what the what makes the hot dog look red is the addictive that leads to harm our body. And the salad. A uh, salad is good, but we must know that the box salad in the convenience store is not good because it has to uh, to be fresh and crisp that we, that the customer like to eat, so it still has many additives in there. And it, and if we eat too much, we might we might uh, have respiratory problem. And so. Um, here are some elements of ideal diet. First, vegetables and fruit. Well, vegetables and fruit contain many vitamins. Um, especially for the college students, vitamins A and B2 are very important because it can um, protect our eyes. And the and vegetables are full of dietary fiber too. And if you have a constipation problem, you should take more dietary fiber. And then um, the other element of ideal diet is breakfast. Yeah, the breakfast is the most important meal in a day. And if you want to have a good and powerful beginning of one day, you should have a rich breakfast. And remember that the uh, breakfast should contain 30% calories of one day, one day meal. And it's, wait, and it's best, uh, and you should base on starch. And water is important too. Most students like to take a lot of beverage or drinks, but water is the best choice. And Remember to drink when you wake up and when you go to bed because it can it's good to your body and you can drink before you exercise it. But it can help you metabolize, it can improve your metabolism. And remember to drink over 2,000 cc per day. Okay, and it's a picture of it's a feature designed by a French designer uh, because he indicates that now uh, go to buy buy vegetables or meats to cook yourself is a is invention and go to supermarket buy the well done food is out fashion and so well I I uh, this page is in the ice cream. <laughs> Well, this one element of ideal diet is that natural food is very important. And the, you must cook, you, it's better that you have to cook yourself and avoid 
freezing food, processed food, and refined food. And the bean products and milk and egg are important too, because they contain a lot of calcium that students and, and every every people may need. And it contains a lot of good protein, such as um, especially soybean contain very much, and it's good to our brain. Um, remember that. You have to eat at proper time and proper quantity. Um, by chew carefully and swallow slowly, and be concentrated on having food. Because when you are hungry, you cannot digest very well. And it's good. It's good that if you eat just 80% food. Okay, and that is a uh, is a recommendation recommendation of a one-day meal, uh, one-day diet. And breakfast, you can take a soy bean meal and a sandwich and some fruit. And on lunch, you can eat good, it, uh, it, it can be full. So it's better to choose, the meat is better to choose fish because it's healthier than others. And dinner, and the dinner you should eat more vegetables and I choose the potato because you can just eat half a potato and it's real good to you. And chicken is another good choice of meat too. If you are uh, very desired of snack, you can do some nuts, apple, or yogurt. Okay, and here are the three students we mentioned above. It's Johnny, Scarlett, and Elizabeth. And Johnny is full of meat, uh, pearl milk, and fried chicken. And the, set, uh, the middle one is scarlet. She's full of uh, cookies and pancakes. And the third one is really the best. She is full of hot dog and very, very, uh, very, very uh, convenient food. And so, do you want to like them? Do you think they are junk? Do you think you are junk? Or you want to be like this? This change that they are full of fruits and vegetables that look healthy. So here at the end, I want to give share with you a talker. When diet is wrong, medicine is of no use. When diet is 